M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Quick explanation here between DV mode and DR mode. So I'll show you DR mode. Hold down DR on all DR radios, D star. You get this window. You've got use reflector CQ CQ and you've got the hotspot frequency. And you can see it even says M0FXB B there. So that's DR mode. Now let's back out. So now we're more of a normal radio, so you can see the frequency. We have selected the mode of DV, which is up here by pushing this button here. You do need a minus shift though, even if you're using DR or DV mode, there has to be a minus shift because it's all designed around repeaters. So I'll just show you how to do a zero shift. So we just go menu, set, go to duplex tone, then offset frequency. Just turn the knob until it says zero. Obviously if it's a repeater, you wouldn't do that. Then enter that. So that's all good. Back out with the VFO button completely then go quick here and just set a duplex tone we're going to go minus okay so it's a minus and then the modes in dv so now if we keyed the mic we would actually be able to use our hotspot or repeater but what what the um the dr people decided to do was let's package that so it's easier to program and that we can import lots of files easily so they they came up with dr mode now i'll show you if I, i'll just show you the call sign section so if you go menu set and go down to call sign this is what your settings would be in dr mode you can see it's cq cq m0 fx b g and then then you've got your call sign which you have to enter into your into your D-Star radio, otherwise it won't work on D-Star. So effectively, that is sort of DR mode, but it's not because you're not in DR mode. So let's back out. So what happens when we go into DR mode, like so, we're in DR mode. This is the same thing. You've got your CQ, CQ at the top in the two section. If you push the down part, you've got the from, it's selecting all the frequencies and it's got M0 FXB B there, and it's got the minor shift. It's all been packaged into one thing. And the way that's programmed is you come out of DR mode, you go menu, and then go across to the right, go to memory, and then you would choose one of your in repeater list. And the reason they did DR mode is because you can import a big list of repeaters and call signs and, and other things. So it just packaged everything into a file. So you go to repeater list, Choose one, there's my hotspot. And then if we scroll down at the details, look, it's the same thing. You've still got the DV hotspot, and that's the name hotspot. M0 FXB, B, G, you can put it into a group, then you've got the minus shift, which is naught. It's exactly the same thing. So if I turned on my hotspot now, I'm backing out with the VFO button. I'll turn it on and just show you that it will. you'll hear it, whether it's in this frequency, actually I've got a feeling my frequency for my hotspot is 433-1550, that's what I'm pretty sure that's the one I use. Just double check that you've still got the shift because I changed frequency, duplex, minus, and we know we set it to zero, so if we key it, zero. Let me just fire up my hotspot. This is the new hotspot by DV Mega, and it has it's a touchscreen hotspot, it does so many things. You can even change reflector using the hotspot, and it has DAPnet for message texting, you can look at the world map, you, it just it has a, a, the history list, you can upload Pistar, upgrade it, you've got radio.net upload as well, it's just so many functions, so I highly recommend you contact Carl and get one of these uh, DV Mega. Anyway, let's wait for it to boot up. Right, so we'll boot it up, turn up the volume, see if anything's connected at the moment. Quickly key the mic to see, just make sure we're accessing it. There you are, M0 FXB, CQ CQ. Now, if we want to connect to a repeater, the easiest way is to go into DR mode, go to the top section, the use, select use reflector, go to link to reflector, choose one, there's one there. Select it. It's now put it in the connect section, which is the two section. All the frequencies are in the bottom that we've already looked at. So if I key, it should show here, reflector 30. And if no one's talking, it will link and it will tell you it's linked. If there's a pause, it means someone's talking or it's not quite booted up. You know, if there's a pause, there's a reason. But everything is set to work in DR mode. And once it's connected, you would then change the top where it says link to reflector you would change it to use reflector, okay? Now, if we back out, 
of DR mode. Let's go to the call sign section. Set, call sign, and you're seeing everything there that we just did. Let's back out. I'll just quickly show you why I'm here about how to do this reflect the connection using the, the hotspot, because that's a brand new feature. So we come out completely, go into DR mode. I prefer that system anyway. And we'll go to the new section. Charlie. There's a bit of a delay there, but it did link eventually. But that's the reflector, not the radio or the hotspot. Like so, then we'll go to setting, and it will actually show you where you're linked. It says 12 here at the moment. And let's hit the unlink button, see if it does anything. Not at the moment, let's try DV Mega setting. This is brand new, so reflector, like so. And then we'll go B, and then we'll put in 001. And let's click link and see, oh, it's a, <laughs> we should have had a C there, really. And you've got to give it a minute to, to catch. Okay, connect in progress, reflector one, Charlie. It is 8 p.m. Link two, R-E-F-0-0-1, zero, zero, Charlie. So thanks for watching my channel, 7-3.